What is up, you guys? It's your girl, the real Mrs. J. Yeah, I'm not going to keep. I told y'all I'm going to eventually stop doing it. But anyway, you guys. Yes, y'all are. I'm blessing you guys with another video today. Um, Just because I got some time and... You know, I just want to, I don't know, I want to start my channel over. I just want to talk about a bunch of different things, you know, besides the things that I was was talking about. But anyway, you guys, so I just got some tea about the whole situation with the guy that um, lived in Chesapeake that, you know, uh, deleted his co-workers. And um, so I told you guys in the last video that I'm from Virginia. Um, I have family and stuff that lives in, and family and friends that live in 757. And um, so there's this, uh, I would say, an independent news lady. She, you know, it's not, uh, well, she does do the news, but like I said, she's an independent. Um, I'm sure some of you may have heard of her. Her name is uh, Rhoda Young Live TV, and that's how you'll find her on uh, Facebook. And she always had all the tea on a lot of stuff that go on down here. So anyway, um, his best friend, well, I'm not going to say best friend. Rhoda said best friend, but the girl said, yeah, we was close. So that just means, no, that's not her best friend. But there was just somebody that she was, you know, pretty cool with or whatever, with whatever. So come to find out the guy was being harassed and, you know, picked on or whatever for, you know, and, and accused of being uh, a part of the, you know, LGBTQ community. And, you know, they was just like he was being disrespected and just picked on. And, you know, he had a, a um, harassment, a sexual harassment charge. I mean, not charge, um, complaint because um, something happened with somebody that he worked with overnight, some guy. So, you know, it was just a lot going on. And, um I am going to, at the end of this video, I am going to play a small snippet of that interview. And, you know, I just encourage you guys to go on Facebook to Rhoda Young Live. Um, and it's spelled R R H O D A Young, you know, like Y-O-U-N-G, Live. And um, you'll be able to see the, the um, interview for yourself. But, you know, it just all goes back down to, you know, Mental health is real, and you got to be careful how you treating people. And, you know, especially when it comes to their their sexuality, like, a lot of people, you know, like, you have men that may even go that way, but they're ashamed of it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if somebody's picking with them and, um, you know, just downright being just disrespectful, you know, it's just... You know, you just don't know what a person is thinking. You just don't know what a person is thinking. And, you know, and you don't know, like, how far they're being pushed to the brink because you don't know what type of, you know, mental health issues they're already dealing with. And, you know, this is stuff that you're supposed to, you learn as a kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you teach your, your children this when they're very young to, like, not pick on people or, you know, do things to make people angry and just being a bully. So, basically, he was being bullied, not excusing anything that he did, uh, but the reason why he did it was because of being bullied and harassed at work. And, you know, that's why... I teach my kids, like, you know, not to pick on people, you know, stuff like that, because you don't know where a, what a person's mindset is. And so because of all of that, a, a few key keys, laughs and jokes, everybody, there's like seven, there's seven people gone right now. There's seven people who are never coming home from work. They went to work and they're never coming home and all because of someone's mental health and people not taking accountability for you know not I'm not gonna say not taking accountability but people not taking into account that it could be messing with someone's mental health and um there was actually a list uh that was also found 
it was like some papers where it was a list and all of the people's names who were deleted that he deleted he had circled so and there's a manifesto so it, it's it's just it's just so sad you guys it's so sad because you just never know what the next person is capable of and you know you, you just have to be careful and and even in the manifesto he was like you know he felt like satan was with him or you know like he had spirits on him and he probably did he probably did but you guys that's why you, you just have to be careful on how you treat people you have to be careful because you don't know what that per other person may be capable of but anyway you guys here is the quick clip um from the video and then um you know, I'll see you back for the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Real Mrs. J. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Hello? Hey, do I sound better now? Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Some, some of these phones be acting out. Um, So you are Andre best friend, the mass shooter of Walmart. Yeah, we was we was close. Um, I used to work at Walmart with him. He worked the overnight. I worked. Um, I had twelve to ten shift. He came in to relieve me. But when I, you know, I used to talk to him all the time. Text messages. We used to go out to eat at the buffet. Go out, you know, all the time. This whole time, this was been going on at Walmart. It did not just start. This been going on almost four years. What when you say this been going on? What has been going on with Andre? He um, they've been bullying him, calling him gay, accusing him of being gay. He said he was straight. The way he looks, the way he dressed, they say that he was gay. Oh, he just needs to admit it. They constantly the the walking past him, making gestures, all that stuff was on camera, and they never once looked at it. When he filed that sexual harassment case against one of the overnight guys and Walmart dragged their foot, they claimed they, they was investigating over four months and they came back and said it was unfounded. But meanwhile, they never even looked at one tape. They did send a person from the corporate office down there one time in four months and they didn't, they never looked at, at the tapes or anything. They came down, they talked to the, the store manager that they had at that time, and that was it. That boy struggled with it. He waited, waited, waited for the results of that in investigation, and they came back and said it was unfounded, and that was it. And he couldn't deal with it. And he'd been struggling with this ever since that. That was the major thing, was that lawsuit, that I claim see, that he filed. I see today they released a letter, and Andre wrote a letter allegedly stating that... um. Yep. He was um harassed and bullied, and there is no excuse he for what was. there was no excuse for what he did. But he said that um of course. he said that um he would walk past, and the letter is confirming what you said. He would walk past, and I know I, ha I have the, I have the I have the messages. Right, we're gonna get to the messages in one second. He said they would walk past, and they had a special sound they made for him yep. when he walked past. And he finally broke the code, so he noticed that that special sound they was making was something to do with him, you know, being, you know, bullied or being gay or something like that. He said that yes, affected him a lot. Exactly when you say you have messages, yes. can is there any way you can just text me over some?